Hello, good morning. It is a good morning. Yeah, good to see you. Nice to be seen. So many beautiful people here. I just love looking at them. I could feel uh, my soul. See this? Yeah. <laughs> I should know. I'm a sound engineer. I should know. All right. Okay. <laughs> I could feel my source guiding me to how beautiful people are, how beautiful we are. Well, we'd say that a little different. Okay. That's how your source always sees them. Yeah. So you felt your source guiding you to that. Yeah. You were calibrated to your source. So that's what you felt. That's alignment. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And then knowing I know it's really helpful to just know you're in the right place. You just feel it. That's what the calibration is, isn't it? You reach for it, you find it, you feel it. Sometimes you don't find it and you know that. Sometimes you do find it and you know that. It's like tuning a guitar. It's like tuning anything. As a sound engineer, you really understand that, don't you? Yeah. 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 Or as anyone who plays a radio. Yeah. Yeah, you have to tune to the station to hear it. Yeah. I get, I get little corrections sometimes where something really inconvenient happens and I feel myself starting to get frustrated. And then a moment later it, or like someone cuts in front of me in traffic and I'm like oh now I'm late and then I have this immediate correction where I'm like now I know I'm in the right place for my next whatever better better rest of the day and I, I was if you interpret it as oh now I'm late you just kind of go down that if you're being on time or late is dependent upon whether one person cuts in front of you you need to leave a lot earlier <laughs> True. That's one of the things I, I really want to talk about is, and I know so many of us do this, so I feel like it, it, it'll be helpful to explore for a moment. Well, the reason we're playing with you like that is because you all do this. You test things right down to the wire. In other words, you just push your luck so far. And what we are really wanting this conversation, not this today conversation to activate within you is this understanding of when you get out ahead of things then you're not always on that bleeding edge where every thought must be precise in order to save your life you can get out ahead of things and then every moment can be rich and expansive and full of insight and pleasure you don't have to be right up against the edge and something about that we're giving you a little more than you're asking for here with your words but it really is something in your vibration that we want to address and that is you're not being challenged by the universe this is not a contest of wits this is vibrational response to a vibrational output and when your output is happening accidentally or by default then you kind of get pot luck. It's sort of a crapshoot what comes back to you. But when you are deliberate about what you think as often as you can be, then life starts to smooth out and you get all this leeway for the purpose of the pleasure of the moment of the moment of the moment of the moment of the moment. You're not being tested here. Somehow that theory got a footing a long time with all of you. And so you've got yourself up against this hard challenger and there is no challenger. The only thing that challenges any of you is your own split energy, you see. So we want to hear you fully, but we think that we might have laid a framework that will make our conversation that comes next easier to understand. Absolutely. I want to get into two things, but the split energy part, you know, I feel like a lot of us really suffer from that. Well, split energy, it's just sloppy thinking. I want it, but I want it, but well, do you want it or not? Yeah, I want it, but I don't not want it. Well, do you want it? Yeah, I want it, but I don't want that. Now it's the question. Do you want this? Do you want this? Yeah, I really don't want that. No. Do you want this? I want that with almost all of my heart. I just don't want that so much. That's split energy. Or a lot of times we say we're in our day, we're doing our thing. We're, we're maybe we're in a good mood. We're connected to source to a degree. We'd like to be connected to source more, more of the time. And I think a lot of times we just start to look at things like okay it's a bad moment now or it's it... this is the question that we want to put to you it's all right stay with us just for a moment what did you do before you got into your day 
If you wait until you're into your day before you do any of your thinking about where you are, now you're doing a lot of knee jerk responding to what's going on. And so the day sort of has its way with you. But if you have prepaved it, if you have calibrated your vibration ahead of time, if you've meditated and come into your source energy, if you have segment intended, if you have established how you feel, in other words, if you have established that you feel good about life and that you're eager about life and that, as you said, you love humanity around you and you go out into your day, do you know that that much of a prepaving that you did while you were sitting there under the influence of your inner being as you say if you've done that much a driver won't cut you off we want to talk about this just a little bit and then we will hear you fully so have you heard us talking about the concept of segment intending when jerry and esther began with us way back the first four recordings were the first one was because Jerry was asking the question are there laws of the universe Abraham give me the nitty-gritty what is it that I most need to know in order to be in control of my own life experience so we gave him four subjects the first was the law of attraction and we explained how attraction works the second we called the law of deliberate creation not so much a law as it is a technique or practice Esther interpreted it as the word law because she could feel how serious we were about it so it felt bigger than a practice it felt like a law so that's what this first recording said the law of attraction the law of deliberate creation and the law of allowing we talked her into changing that to the art of allowing the art of allowing the art of syncing up with what you really want and the fourth was segment intending that's how far back this subject of segment intending goes so what segment intending the way Esther received it from us in those days was holding your own intentions for the segment that you are moving into recognizing that the segment just changed I just got into my car so it's a different segment or I just answered the telephone so it's a different segment or 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 so what is it I want from this segment it was a focusing technique so through the years Esther saw this segment intending this focusing technique she saw it as the way she would control the segment not quite what we meant but it's the way it felt to her when she would do her segment intending she would sit in her car and she would think to herself I want to have smooth transfer and I want to be safe and I want to encounter other nice drivers Esther's interpretation of that was I'm going to change what's going on in this segment to please me well now that was not wrong that's the way she interpreted it but today we're putting another nuance on it that as you settle into this you will feel the power of it now Esther's vision as we project segment intending she sees herself in the segment before the segment preparing herself because she understands that it's attraction 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 so she says things to herself like I'm so in love with life and I'm such a blessed person and I'm so eager about life and I love interaction with others and she's using all these feeling words I feel stable and I feel secure and I feel full and fun and so she's isolating those feelings through thought and then it's like creating an atmosphere around her like a bubble and now this Esther bubble is now moving out into the world and only what matches the bubble can be her experience she's not controlling the other things out there people aren't shaping up all over the world just because she's marching through the airport <laughs> she's just not rendezvousing with those that are marching to the beat of a different drummer she's just attracting those that match her bubble you see so that's why we like so much the first two things you said to us as you were acknowledging how you feel about the people in this room and then you acknowledge the driver that would cut you off those two things don't go together you see what we're getting at yes yeah so so I had so many questions and what I realized by listening to you and and feeling my inner being listening to my inner being was that I haven't been doing the meditation part I'm doing a lot of the rest of the part 
unless you are willing to prepare yourself vibrationally then whatever vibration is the most dominant in the segment in which you are engaged will rule if you walk into chaos and you're not in alignment with this power that creates worlds then you're going to be a reactor to the chaos that's why we say you got to get out ahead of it you can't just stumble into it Esther wrote a word this morning as she was doing her segment intending and the word surprised her as she wrote it because she had not written it before and she underlined it as she wrote it and the word was I am so appreciative of the propulsion and what she was getting at is the power of law of attraction and the energy that it causes there's an actual sort of clearing of the atmosphere when you are a vibrational match to what you want nothing that is not a vibrational match to you can come to you but the thing is there are a lot of things that are a vibrational match to you that you don't mean to be a vibrational match to you that are a vibrational match to you because you are a sloppy offer of vibration we say that to everyone to some extent because you're not doing the preliminary work if you don't take the time to line up with the energy that creates worlds then you could walk into an atmosphere where there's some sort of mob rule going on where somebody's really upset about something they're having a hair on fire hair blowing back experience when you walk into it you're going to respond to it if you don't have some stability going on in your own vibration that's what's going on all around your world today people are just reacting to each other and pointing at each other for the reason that they feel so bad but it's you it's not them you're the reason why you feel so good or so bad right? it's your reaction to them but you would not be reacting to them if you were reacting to something before you were reacting to them that's what we mean by getting out ahead of it if you are allowing yourself to be one of the cooperative components see, this is how it works you sift and sort in your human form and ask that's step one you launch this rocket of desire step one ask source answers that by calibrating to your desire and by holding the desire unequivocally that's such an important thing to understand and then step three is you no longer knee jerking or responding to the things that prevent you from being one of the cooperative components that your inner being and the law of attraction are gathering to you the cooperative components are all being gathered the question is are you one of them and the answer to that for most humans is no not quite yet because I'm still defending and blaming and justifying so even though I've launched a rocket and even though it's off and running and even though my inner being has calibrated it and all the cooperative components have been gathered and the path of least resistance has been carved out for me as I stand in that defensive mode still explaining why I need it I hold myself apart from it and that's why I feel negative emotion and so the way that you don't do that so much is by when there's nothing going on to which you are reacting when you are in the quiet of your own space where you can sit for a few minutes 20 is quite enough and quiet your mind by focusing on something boring like the dripping of a faucet or the hum of the refrigerator or the air conditioner or some boring thing that doesn't get you off on a wild goose chase about one thing or another as you focus on something your mind will quiet and as your mind quiets your vibration will rise and as your vibration rises you will join the vibrational frequency of your inner being and when you do that then that becomes your point of attraction do you understand the power of that by thinking nothing you quiet your mind and you join the vibration of your inner being who's thinking everything about everything that matters to you oh to calibrate to that frequency there is a momentum there is a propulsion in that you see